Hi. Hello, sir. How are you? Good, good. So this is my gate. Ooh. Oh my God, come on. Fucking joke. Oof. This is the pad. So we're just coming in to get the camera, so the best place to hide the key is under the tablecloth. Pick the right key. And we're in. Oof. 800 light switches. Yeah. This is the pad. Aircon, living the dream, big bed, drying station, bathroom. So we've run back just to pick up the camera. Tuk Tuk is waiting. So I'm just gonna grab my camera, jump back in and head down the coast and hopefully find the stilt fishermen. Doggo. All right, team, so we've made it to the Stilt Fisherman location and it's blowing a hooli, but the stilts are all here. And then they go off in that way and the sun sets right behind some of the stilts. So as I said before, it's one of those things that's become a tourist attraction. It's not such a tradition anymore. Thousands and millions of tourists come here to make these pictures. Um, but I've come all this way and I'm not just going to leave it behind. It's still something that I wanted to photograph, wanted to see, and the pictures will be mine that I make. I just might have to pay the guy for that privilege. So this chap is here. Hello, my friend. How are you? I'm fine. What's your name? My name is Raja. Raja. Yeah. Tommy. Pleased to meet you. Yeah. How much are you going to charge me? Uh, yeah, I'm very fishing? poor people, yeah. And you can tell me you're a very poor person, uh, but yeah, you you're going to please me. 4,000 for this photo person, yeah. 4,000 yeah. for two people. For how long? Uh, about... I need to wait for the sun to be lower then. No problem. Then you get me up the down. Okay, let me walk up and down. And yeah, let me sleep. Me, yeah. Raja will come back and yeah. see you, right? Yeah. There we go, there's the deal. Didn't even bargain with him. We'll see how we go on the way back. Um, let's have a look at some of these platforms. Chaps from Finland, I met a few days ago in Gal. They're filmmakers and they are absolutely phenomenal. They're running around in the uh, ocean here. They paid for four fishermen, so I'm doing some behind the scenes pictures for them because it gives me something to do. Uh, I get the pictures I want of the fishermen and they get the behind the scenes shots, so couldn't have worked out any better. The light is beautiful, uh, the waves are big, so we can get slow motion shots where the waves are a bit blurry, uh, it gives a bit of action and movement, or we can shoot fast capture the light and nice sharp pictures of those fishermen so I've got three things going on here I've got great light and I've got my enjoyment I've got the fishermen so I get pictures of them and then I've got behind the scenes that these boys can use for whatever they want so can't get better let's crack on 
Right team, so the sun has just set here on the Stilt Fisherman. Um, epic session, probably nearly trashed my phone. Camera certainly got a bit wet and I got very wet because when you're crouching down to get the shots of the fisherman, you've got to try and concentrate on the waves, but sometimes you get it wrong. Let's just see if that's going to clear up a bit. Probably not. Morning squad. It's one of those 5.55 mornings. Um, Oof, don't see it very often, but when you do, you see a monkey. Monkey, where's monkey? Right on time, back here at the uh, stilt fishing in Sri Lanka on this beach. Um, just waiting for the fisherman that I met yesterday. Um, to arrive and then we're going to do a bit of a sunrise photo shoot and I said it last night but these fishermen were really affected by the tsunami that came through and wiped this area out and the fishing has changed massively lots of uh, bigger boats drop bigger nets and catch more fish um, but the, the reefs that these um, stilts were usually perched on they used to be able to catch fish after fish after fish after fish so now most of these fishermen have either had to go off and get different jobs or some of them hang around here and arrange with people like me, photographers, to um, still make the photos and then they make a little bit of money from that. So completely understand why, don't have a problem with it. I've traveled a long way and have seen these pictures for a long time. Um, so I still wanted to come here and make the pictures as many, many people do. And each picture is individual to me and I have a good time doing it. So these stilts go for miles down the coast. Um, but I'm gonna be working with these ones here. Um, there's a surfer all the way out there. Um, these boys are in a fishing boat here going out, Ooh, just over there, and there's a doggo that comes near me. You know what happens to him. We have two fishermen out. The guy that I met last night is not here because apparently he's fallen off no flight, but we shall see. But the sun is rising over behind me and that should bring some nice light onto these boys this morning. So a different look from uh, the shoot we did last night and what I might do is I'll tr try and move around these boys a little bit more to get a slightly different look. But I got the beach to myself, these chaps are here and yeah we're going to shoot for the next hour and just see what we can make up camera got a little bit damp yesterday so it's not reacting like it should which is a pain in the ass but we'll do our best Hard work. So I've just come up behind these trees to try and get some uh, framing options for the fishermen that are somewhere down there. There's one. 
I think. Uh, no, maybe just a pole. But just here, these pits are obviously where the turtles come up to chill out, lay their eggs, do what they're gonna do. So there's a big pit just here. And I'll show you the runway. Look at that. So a turtle has come all the way from down there, all the way up, and been hanging out here. Perfect, thank you man. That was good, that was very good. Just a little bit of hard work. Uh, the sun was short lived, it's kind of stuck in behind some clouds. Um, so you can see on this rock now, there's not a touch of sun. Um, the boys were very good, they did their thing very well and I was moving around, but this sea here just comes in, just chops up. So if you want to try and get further down the beach, it's just going to lay into you. Uh, again, camera got a bit of a splash, but still from last night, there's a couple of things I can't change. I can't review the images. Um, so it was full manual. Every time you go to review an image, you can't see it. So I guess it's old school, so I'll take what I get. But all I was doing is looking for different framing, different compositions, different shutter speeds, trying to get the movement, the blur of the water. Um, it was great because there was sometimes when it, the light was perfect on the first guy and then the other guy was in shadow. And then there was a couple of times when they were both in the light. So I can't expect too much more. Um, you'd need to continuously be here for three, four, five, six days, 10 days working specifically with these guys. But who knows, I might come out again tonight if I can dry the camera but down the beach there the sun is looking nice on the waves beautiful morning hardly any wind because someone put that flag right there and yeah it is 6.52 so just a bit less than an hour um, but yeah I'm happy with that happy with that Just moved another beach down and there's a chap standing in the water with a throwing net so here he is just down here we're gonna have a chat to him and see if he'll throw the net a couple of times now these boys are obviously working they're obviously hunting they're looking for their fish for their food or to sell in market to then feed their families and everything else so in this scenario I'm approaching them and I don't mind offering them a small bit of cashola to uh, do what they were going to do anyway but try and time it with the camera so let's see how we go how are you my name's tommy from england yeah pleased to meet you yeah. um sri lanka. yeah i love yeah, sri lanka yeah. love sri lanka very nice yeah any luck with the fish today uh, you've caught some already Ah, some little fish. Yeah. Nice. It's very good. And this is your friend? Yeah. Mr. Black. <laughs> How are you? Do you know the fish, Bob? Yeah. Boom. Good to see you. Would you boys mind if I took a couple of pictures? Yeah. Okay.
All right, so that was a quick stop with uh, Ranjith and Bandu as they slung their nets into the water. Yeah, no fish, but I think some good shots. Quick, you film. Morning team, it's the afternoon. Uh, just packed up all the bags once again, um, shipping out this lovely little pad and then heading down to Welligama, which is further down the coast. And we're gonna go and explore there for a bit. And then yeah, just see what happens. 